Well, in this video, I'm going to talk about silver versus taxes. But first, I want to give you a thought of the day. Dip me in honey and feed me to the lesbians. Okay? So, um, I want to put out something a little bit different, too, with some charts. And um, maybe not charts, but graphics or something about financial information. Um, because one of the reasons you're investing in silver is because you don't want to partake in the financial system, uh, system because you know the financial system is rigged against all of us. And... If you look at, let's not even look at the 1%, but let's look at the one basis point, which is the 1% of the 1%, most of them, the vast majority of them, are connected to the financial system in the United States, the banking system, or maybe a corollary industry of such. The reason being that they are so much on the top is because they run a casino. I mean, I guess it's an old cliche to say that. But that's what's going on. I mean, they really run the show. Now, one of the earliest taxes in the United States was on taxes on whiskey. And you heard about the Whiskey Rebellion in western Pennsylvania. And I talked about that before. I think I actually have my Whiskey Rebellion flag I put out on videos before. Um, these are the so-called sin taxes. But, you know, you have to remember this. You can not only moonshine whiskey, but you can also moonshine fuel for your car and that was a major contention of why was gasoline taxed in the first place well the government needed money I'm going to actually bring out a point here that we're not just fighting we're fighting all this crap all the way because the government and big business and the rackets in the Federal Reserve and the big banks are all intricately connected at the hip and it's not just in Washington DC it's at the state level, and it's even at the county level, and even maybe even the township level. Bottom line is, we need all these jerks ousted, and I have no sympathy for them whatsoever, because um, in essence, government is nothing but overhead to operate. I don't know what to operate. Maybe to supposedly help help guarantee our rights, but not grant our rights. But the theory—that's the theory. But it's gotten so far overboard it's beyond ridiculous uh here i'd like to show a, a chart on i'm going to show you a few things on this and i'm also going to talk about what's going on a little bit with um the metals where i think they're going and actually i don't think it looks that great except for me more more so for gold and silver is like mm, i i think palladium and platinum are going to take a short-term major hit when the markets finally come down because they're very industrial mm. which was which makes me think of dumping some palladium and getting that land up in Tennessee now uh-huh but uh, anyway diesel taxes this is another thing whereby I know they say it's for the roadways but I guarantee you a lot of it doesn't go for the roadways. If you look at what the hell's going on with the roadways in the United States, the infrastructure in the United States is pretty bad. Um, in Florida, Florida actually is one of the better states for taxes. Like it it's really definitely is overall. But if you look at diesel rates, um, they're very high. Any of the red states, they're very high. Now, one thing that gets me is I don't understand why people aren't in up in arms over this. You know, I think... You know, if you say that moonshine still or whatever the heck it is, if you can make your own fuel, why can't you? I mean, it's not a sin to, you know, it's not using your own fuel to, for transportation. is not committing a sin. I mean, that's one of the things they used to use as an excuse for um, taxation, like sin taxes, cigarettes, which they also pushed early on, and also... Um, uh, alcohol which has medicinal benefits too believe it or not uh, a little bit of alcohol every day is actually very good for a person um, but they got it what I'm going to tell you what I think is going to happen it when if 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 silver really 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 takes off is that they're going to make an additional tax on it specifically because I think it was back in the yeah it was it was in the late 70s they put a I think an excise tax or an additional capital gains tax on, I think it was an additional capital gains tax on oil. 
because when oil prices exploded back in the late 1970s, and that's when we had the problem with Iran, with the, the hostage situation, all that, and that was also the time when the silver, gold, platinum, and palladium were going up. They taxed it a lot. Um, and looking at things are the way things are today with our electronic financial system, uh, they can they can track pretty much every damn thing you do. It's pretty sick. These are the gas taxes in the uh, country. If you look at all the red states is where it's high. California, New York, New York is freaking astronomical. Um, Florida's pretty up there too, man. Pretty bad. Um, but Florida actually overall is pretty good for taxes overall. Pretty good. Um, I'll get into that a little bit. But uh, one of the things they hate you to do is produce your own wealth. This is why I personally suspect that they will make it, they'll try to make it illegal to produce and grow your own food in the future if the government needs money. In other words, I'm going to go into a little bit of history on, I know maybe this isn't related to silver, but you just maybe not directly, directly. But it is related to silver because these are one of the dangers you got to watch for if it really does go to the moon, quote unquote. Um, that means everything's falling apart. For real. I mean, if, you know, I mean, I hear these people talking about, I know they're full of it. Um, they aggravate the hell out of me. And that was one of the main reasons I got on, start, you know, my original videos actually were car videos on YouTube. And I got on the subject of the silver and focus more on this subject and health because there's two things that aggravate the hell out of me is um, these crooks in the financial world the phony $500 an hour and $500 word speaking people that use the $500 words that's why they charge $500 an hour and um, well it's and also what the doctors do they're a bunch of crooks too it's in the financial world and the medical world. And actually, I can tell you, I think the medical world is even worse than Wall Street. That's why I kind of switched from the car videos when actually those are original videos I actually did on this channel. Originally, original, original. But um, um, I know from my background um, in accounting, and it's it's been in a lot of high-end accounting in my educational background, even though I'm a very much good old boy type, working class person um, in a lot of ways. Um, I have a lot more knowledge than these phony, cute-talking people on there that are telling you, you know, I remember him telling us silver was going to go to $500 or $1,000 an ounce. If it did that, everything fell apart, and the government will extract any which, money out of you any which way they can. And I think that would even be over um, growing your own food if you're freaking starving. They would try to tax you on that or confiscate part of it. You got 12 chickens? Well, give us... The government needs three. I don't know. Whatever. They would. They would. And you got to go right back to the Founding Fathers. Government is nothing but force. It's like fire. It's very dangerous. Um, and anybody connected to the government, whether it's family, friends, or whatever, I don't care if it's um, at the, the, you know, the lesser paid jobs, which, which is the cops don't get paid a lot of money, but they ain't all really good. You know, if you know a cop, you can get away with a lot more stuff. If you know the judge, you can definitely get away with a lot more stuff. Or the district attorney. If you know the congressman, if you're a relative, you get away with all kinds of stuff. And if you're fam family and friends of the president, yeah, you get away with everything, damn thing, you know, because they can do whatever they want. Um, one great example of wrongful taxation was what they did. That was, that was one of the earliest taxes on the... Uh, you know, the moonshine stills in western Pennsylvania, which resulted in the the, uh, the tax revolt, you know, the whiskey, whiskey rebellion. Now, of course, what was going on, but relatively speaking, in the United States, we've had very little taxes. And I'm getting on to something. I know sometimes they get a little lengthy on these videos, but it's like, I mean, I could put out a two-minute video with a little bleh, drama bitch thing, like some of these people do, and I, I'm not giving you all the information. I'm just freaking playing drama to the crowd. Um, but that one of the things they don't want you to produce your own wealth and a lot of times when you produce it's like they want to track everything you do one thing they hate about you know you producing 
your own fuel and stuff is that they can't they can't measure it they can't quantify it. this is one of the reasons they don't want you to invest in silver coinage though they don't know what the hell you got and it's getting to the point where maybe they can just come to your house and steal everything or come to your workplace or steal everything and in my case I use um, the um, independent people where I work for storage which are a boutique investment house connected with the CPA firm which has 24-hour surveillance security um, it's in the Orlando area actually but um, if you keep it in a bank you're screwed if you keep it you know whatever you do it you're screwed man um, I got about the best situation I could think of but even that is not perfect um, also want to get on to, um, I know this is another taxation on cigars. You can get away from that, a little cigar, cigarettes. Um, you can get away around that illegally, of course. It would be illegal, but by going on an Indian reservation, right, and or ordering online from Indian reservations on cigarettes, which you're not allowed to do. Um, you know, legally, legally. I'm just saying you could do it if you don't just, but you're breaking the law. I'm just telling you that. Now, one of the things... A lot of people don't realize with um, sales tax in this country. Now, everybody pretty much takes it for granted, right? Everybody's, every state pretty much has sales tax. Um, one of the states that doesn't have a sales tax is, well, I know it's New Hampshire, which is one of my, that was my favorite northeastern state, live free or die. Um, I forgot what other ones there are. There's like four or five of them. And... Sales tax actually is relatively new in this country. But this is, what I'm getting on here and telling you this is because you've got to have an attitude where to, to be free is, and have an attitude that basically government is a dangerous evil that you might have to live with and have a little bit of it. And go along like a postulate, like what Thomas Jefferson said, the government that governs best is the government that governs least. You gotta, you gotta take that as an axiom. One of the biggest problems we got, and I see this all over the alternative media, supposedly, if there are alternative or if they're just controlled behind the scenes, they're always talking about crap that's going on in Washington D.C. and what needs to be fixed and who you need to elect and blah, blah, who. Ca you know what? I, I personally, I take all those jackass, throw them through a meat grinder, and. Uh, till the soil with them and let them gr let, let the, whatever they got left grow some food because I really think they're about that damn worthless I really do that's that's extreme but I'm like sick of these jackasses to the bit to the max I don't give a damn what political party they belong to like I, I've been saying before you know yeah you know, Trump I, I took Trump over Hillary no doubt right but I think the best way to make America great is again is through government default. I I'd like to see all these jackasses lose all their pensions, the whole nine yards, because even in the military, because even in the military, the ones that did the most work and sacrificed the most, they get the least. The ass wipes that freaking um um not to play the system, they get the most. Um, so getting on with um the uh, sales tax, actually, a lot of people don't realize. Sales tax, you know where it's sales tax on, you know, I mean, yeah, it's state sales taxes. I think there's four or five states that don't have a sales tax. I know New Hampshire is one of them. I forgot the other ones. Maybe it was it Texas? I'm not sure. Um, the um, the st sales tax came about in the 1930s. Why did it come about in the early 1930s? Why did it come about? Because... Um, of the Great Depression. And the reason was that the states were about to go under and they had to survive. The only way the state governments could survive was to start. You see, this is like, and you think about it, what the hell did the sales tax actually do to the economy? It put the brakes on the economy even more. See what I'm saying here? Um, anytime I'll give you that. There's an example. I forgot 
what um, it was called again, but it was tried back in the uh, 1930s in Austria, and it's not to be confused with the Austri Austrian School of Economics. It's just an, a separate experiment from that, something totally different. They use local currencies, and all of a sudden, the depression that was going on in the local economy di totally disappeared. They used uh, they issued local currencies backed by central Austrian government notes in a ratio of 10 to 1 and they didn't even have to dish they just borrowed the money and they issued local currencies and just started some projects and um, but they gave it into the hands of the people that are actually in very industrious and what happened there was um, the people that are you know industrious it, it, it made it had a snowball effect they didn't have to use the, all the local current anywhere near all the local currencies that they expected they might have to use to stimulate the economy. See today when they are doing you know TARP trouble asset relief program what they had before, all that money goes into the two bigs to fail as we know, but the two bigs to fail don't produce anything. You know these guys are a joke. I mean they can't pick up a hammer, they can't weld, they can't you know use a you know bandsaw or whatever they can't. I don't know. They can't trim trees or lay down, um, I don't know, asphalt driveways and stuff. They don't know how to do any of that stuff. They're garbage. They just, they're just wealthy. That's all they are. It, it's almost as if they are monarchs of the United States. Now, this chart shows, um, what does this show? All the states that don't have a s state income tax. Now, I know Florida is one of those. New Hampshire, New Hampshire's got no state income tax and no sales tax the only disadvantage they got there is like they got pretty damn high real estate taxes um but um new tennessee has actually a state um what do you call it income tax only on income over 60,000 i think it is or something like that it's some something or i think on capital gains on investments or something it's not you know, in North Carolina, is really basically no state income tax, too. Um, California, California used to be a great state before all the taxes came. In, and you know what this does? It not only feeds the government, it feeds the crap that the government is feeding to, that helps self-perpetuate the government. In other words, it's part of, like, the Roman grain doll. You know, I, I extracted money from the hard-working citizens so I could pass out the grain doll to get to uh, ensure that I am re-elected by these people that are accepting the grain doll. That's really what went wrong with California. California was a thousand times better many decades ago. California was fantastic if you're talking back in the 60s and prior. But no more. No more. It's screwed up. It's commie California now. Um, if you're looking at and the reason I'm putting this out is because just be very, very, very much aware that when silver goes up really high, it might, it might due to like unforeseen circumstances, global conflict, I don't really know, man. Um, the government's going to try to grab its money as much as possible. I'm going to make some other recommendations on how you can save some money or maybe recommendations that are, well, I'll get into that just a little while but first I want to show you this chart this was actually off of Wikipedia or something it was uh, you know personal income taxes sales and excise taxes property taxes in yellow New York worst one going um, Maine I'm surprised um, Hawaii I'm not surprised I'm surprised New Jersey's all the way to hell down here in the middle but I don't believe that in a million years somehow I think this chart is inaccurate as all hell Tennessee Got the lowest overall taxes. The only thing they got is pretty high is, um, mm, what do you call it, um, uh, sales tax. They're pretty high. Johnson County being the smallest uh, sales tax, which I was thinking of going to. That's what I'm really trying to do near Tennessee, uh, near um, North Carolina border, so you can shop in North Carolina with lower taxes. New Hampshire, second lowest. New Hampshire, very, very, very good. Uh, if you can figure out a way to drop your real estate taxes through having farm property or something, that would definitely put New Hampshire in the lowest. Now, what I'm recommending here 
for all you people that, and this will save you money in a real because I know a lot of times you people look at look at and if you've been with me this long on this video uh, a lot of times you people look at you know you look at the silver videos for like you know how much money I want to make or whatever and I know it's like the principle of it also like let's fight the freaking financial power but there's so few people out there doing this that it's not making a major effect and I know Max Kaiser some years ago he talked about um, uh, you know uh, what do you call it uh, you know starving the banks by investing in silver I'm like yeah sure buddy he's a full of a crap too um, now one of the things I'm gonna recommend you do is if you look on online if you're buying online sales you're buying online like I know online has now become much 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 bigger shopping than um, you know sticks and bricks and mortar mortar and brick stores um, <coughs> the um, now they're starting to collect sales tax online especially with Amazon like this chart shows with Amazon uh, the red states were the first ones to come on board which is New York and then um, later on the blue states which was like Texas Pennsylvania California and the green states like Georgia Virginia uh, uh, New Arizona and all that in New Jersey um, then the brown states was like Tennessee Florida South Carolina and and they're starting to collect sales tax you know what I do is I don't order from Amazon anymore at all if a store does not have a physical presence in the state they're selling to they don't have to collect sales tax on that online sale now I personally can't stand Amazon anymore I used to order from them like crazy I can't stand them anymore because of what Jeff Bezos did uh, with all his propaganda through the Washington Post but you know the other side of it is every time I see an order now it says sales tax because I live in the state of Florida and as of 2014 Amazon is collecting sales tax now you're supposed to pay that tax anyway I don't think anybody does I mean you're supposed to fill out some form or some crap I don't think anybody does that but what I'm telling you though is you're probably far better off going to alternative vendors that don't have a, um, a brick and mortar or stick and brick whatever you call it store physical presence in your state and ordering outside your state uh, online now that can give you a significant advantage besides um, getting a, a cheaper online price but not paying six seven eight nine percent more for sales tax that's one reason I like Bud K okay Bud K and that CH Cadell or Cooters you know I think Cooters doesn't do that stuff too he doesn't have a presence here so anyway um, by the way this should have been the Hillary Clinton training device way back when before when she was younger um, you know Bill Clinton could have done this with her a long time ago when Bill Clinton got on the bike you know can't whatever <laughs> that's the way it works so anyway um, one's actually not a she's not talking in there she's not allowed to talk that's what really what it is you block that part and you just talk one way so anyway um, but the reality of the situation is the government itself is the biggest damn crooks and it doesn't matter if it's you know like we send Trump to Washington DC so what so what I mean even if the guy's trying to fix everything which I kinda doubt he's he can't he can't the way to starve the beast is to uh, starve him back I mean they trying to starve you you gotta starve them back and you can't you know it's like kinda I guess it's risky for me to tell you some of this stuff about the online sales and um, about the Indian reservations that what they sell on the Indian reservations that you order online oh well, you're not supposed to do that but you know I'm just telling you it's available um, you're not supposed to do that in the least okay but um, you know it all adds up it adds up <coughs> six percent here seven percent there looking for deals the other thing is I would like to see a major lobby in this country to allow moonshining and the production of 
your own uh, production of fuel in this country again. Actually, the sale, the taxation on gasoline, you know when that started? 1932. Right during the, the Great Depression was really cooking bad then, right? What did they do? We're going to tax gasoline so it makes it even harder for people to freaking move around. That's what people were parking cars. They couldn't even afford the gas in the first place, so they tax it. Then they also had it illegal with prohibition that you couldn't produce your own gasoline. This was in the 30s. you got to remember all this stuff. This is stuff, you know, I know from just reading a lot of a myriad of different things, and it's not something I'm getting from somebody else. But remember, what did prohibition do besides, and why did prohibition came up, come about in first place? It wasn't over the. It was part. The front was. It was over the ills of alcohol, which it causes to the families, and it's a demon, and all this crap, right? It was John D. Rockefeller that gave to these women four million dollars in the first place to try to ban the manufacture and sale of alcohol in this country. Why? Because his Standard Oil was competing with the gasoline alcohol sales of the farmers out in the country. So you can take your Ford Model T out in the country, fill up some alcohol, grain alcohol, turn a little knob on your uh, dashboard to adjust the timing on the distributor or the richness of the jets or something. It's right on a dash that you adjust it and you be on your merry way. Well, that was all stopped, right? You had prohibition going, right? And it, the focus is on in history is it all about Al Capone, it's all about alcohol, it's all about whiskey, and the good guys, the federal government, is busting up all the whiskey. Well, the crap is you can run your car on that for free, buddy. And I can guarantee you the federal government well, didn't bust up all that whiskey. They kept it themselves, they resold it, um, they drank it, just like this guy over here on the motorcycle who's running the vice squad is taking these two ba babes back to the police precinct headquarters, and they're going to have a big party and you know this is 99.99 percent of the problem naive stupid people trusting the authorities and usually they're very religious people just like the stupid naive people that push for this you know the banning uh, uh, alcohol sales and manufacturing in this country remember we could have been running on free gasoline alcohol in 1932, when in 1932 they put a tax on the sale of gasoline, when people were freaking starving to death, prices were, were economic activity was going to a standstill. In other words, that gasoline could have been used to, to power the farm tractors, not only move goods to and from different cities or the, the factories. It could have been used to power farm tractors. It could have been used to power machinery in cottage industry, home industries to make things for people for free. But no, they taxed gasoline, and gasoline was the only way to get energy through John D. Rockefeller, and all alcohol was illegal. This is why I'm telling you, do not cooperate with the government in the least. Although, I got to tell you, you don't break any laws, okay? Okay? I mean, what the hell, what the hell, how else can I put it? And I'm actually telling you that there's different ways around things. And, you, and another thing is, don't make too much money. I want to tell you that right now, because the more money you make, it's sick. The more money you make, what happens is, the more money they take. You can make less money and be productive in other ways by doing things on your own and have more. It's because, you know what, the equation is, it's not necessarily how much you make, it's how much you spend. And that's a big thing. Now, old girl here on a pink scooter with a cheetah print seat, she's not spending too much money on a Lexus or whatever, or some Mercedes, and she still looks really sweet on this damn thing. And the problem is, people are stuck with the advertising. They get they get right on that thing. Now, I'm going to tell you something. Uh, previous I, on my channel, I put out videos about the Batteru product, and I'm going to tell you that um, I ain't, I'm going to put any kind of stuff out like, 
you know, what it, you know, it, it's you know, a battery life extender or whatever you want to call it, get more energy out of what's in the battery itself. I can tell you one thing. What really piqued my interest more on that was how so many people got bent out of shape about that product. And um, they're not bent out of shape about all these excise, excess, you know, excess taxes we're dealing with and all the crooks we got in government at every single level. You know, as a matter of fact, I'm going to tell you honestly, if, you know, all these retired people in government, whether they're government employees, judges, DAs, cops, firemen, or whatever, they all, they all just, you know, and they're retired and they're on their roll. If they all died, the taxes would probably all drop to half. I mean, that's how much money you're paying for this bullshit. And right now, you know, they just go in there for 20 years or whatever the hell it is, and they live forever on, uh, you, you know, the taxpayers, which there's not many taxpayers left, that I think the whole thing's coming down, man. I'm telling you that right now. And when it does, that's when you're going to see gold especially go up. I think palladium might, it's going to be a strange animal, palladium. Palladium might actually be worth more than gold at one point in time, but I don't know when that point in time is going to be exactly. Um, but in any case, you want to have real assets, and you want to have real assets that aren't on the radar. Um, anything they can measure, you're screwed. You know, which means anything electronic. Um, one of the things we ought to really do is have a moonshine political party in this country for you know making our own moonshine for medicinal purposes and also uh, producing our own gasoline for our truck and our old motorcycle so we don't have to freaking pay for whatever. And, you know, it's not free-free because it requires labor and it requires raw materials to make the stuff. But the thing is, any, you see, like, I, I got to get back to it again. If they see, if they see, if the government's going down and they're having a problem, just like I said before, the sales tax in the states got really popular. It started coming on. It wasn't before, actually before the 1930s. I don't think there was one state that even had a sales tax. As a matter of fact, in 1913 um, was when they first came out with the federal income tax, and it was 1%. It was 1% practically on everybody. I think the first, I don't remember what it was exactly. It was something like... Uh, between ten and zero and two twenty thousand dollars, it was one percent. But you got to remember, back in twenty thirteen, you could buy a really nice house for two thousand dollars. Nobody was making freaking twenty thousand dollars a year. That so one percent applied to everybody across the board. On top of that, there was no filing for household, um, you know, head of household, joint filing. And, you know, recently now, in 1978, they came up with the alternative minimum tax, which, you know, nabs anybody that's got a lot of deductions because you got to take, um, if, if the alternative minimum tax is more than the taxes you came up with, <coughs> um, you got to pay that alternative minimum tax. So the problem with the economy, actually, is the damn government. Now... I could tell you that all you, but what do you do about it? Well, I, and I could tell you it's not really legal to do this, but you, when you're I, when you're buying online, um, you know, buy from its buy from when there's no sales tax and free shipping. I mean, there's a lot of stuff you could do. You can even do this with food for crying out loud. And actually, one of the things, like I said, we need we need to we need to starve the beast and people that actually respect the government i'm going to tell you they they always act nice they always act nice on the surface and maybe some of them are nice but the problem is they're not doing anything for you really they're not they're not doing crap they don't we don't need these we don't need these we don't need 99 percent of our government that's how bad it is it's not even like half it's more like way to hell over 90 percent you know, back during the time, even in the 1930s, there was no wall and fence around the White House. Somebody can go walk in the White House. They could just people, there was like people coming in the White House sitting on the president's chair. Back in, um, when, um, <clears throat> who the hell was it? Teddy Roosevelt was president. I'm not talking about Franklin Delano Roosevelt. I'm talking about Teddy Roosevelt, um, back in 18, late 1800s. 
He used to disappear for like three weeks at a time and go into Yellowstone National Park and go hunting on a hunting party. Nobody even knew where the hell he was. And this guy was the president. Today, this bullshit, we don't need this crap. That's all there is to it. You know what gets me, and that's what that's what piqued my interest about this Bataru product, because I was thinking, why well, all these jackasses getting all bent out of shape about that when there's so much more crap we can get more, more bent up, out of shape about? I know why they got bent out of shape about it. It's because the uh, multi-billion dollar industry in the United States of replacement disposable batteries might be seriously affected by the sale of that product. Uh-huh. Anyway, it's another subject, but I figured I'd mention it here because I'm I'm still uh, I'm still on with that, big time. <coughs> Not that I'm going to put out any specific videos on it because I get attacked left and right, but I always mention it once in a while. Keep that in mind. Uh, so anyway, you know what you really want to do is look for. I, I personally, I you know, I'm not sure where the hell I'm going exactly, and you know, if I'm going to be up there 100% all the time. But, you know, ideally, I'd like to be up on a damn hill away from civilization, you know, major civilization, too, too close, with uh, fields of fire cleared and all that other crap, because, uh, but really, what I'd really like to see is if the government collapses, that 90% of these people just walk, walk off the government, and, I, I mean, I got no use for them, none, zero. Uh, so this is more than just silver. Silver is like... The problem is with silver, you notice there's so many people, and I can tell you, like, you know, Lindsey Williams, he's a freaking complete fraud. The guy is a load of it. I mean, he knew one guy way back when, um, well, I forgot the guy's name, he was the oil guy that actually predicted the right prices of oil back in, I think it was 2008 or 2007. You know, that was the only one, Ken, Ken Fromm. Wasn't that? Yeah, Ken Fromm. But he don't know anybody. He's a guy that sells DVDs for $95 a pop, and he's a freaking 501c3, and he's another crooked-ass freaking yo-yo hiding behind religion, which is loads of them out there in this silver community crap. And I can tell you one thing, I am not one of those guys. No way in hell. They keep this Jesus crap. I'm, I'm like, freaking sick of it, man, because they're freaking full of it. But, um... You know, um, just, you know, I, I already told you a way you can save some bucks. And another thing that's your best friend is Craigslist. Craigslist is something whereby you can do cash transactions between individual parties. Um, that's also avoiding all this crap. And a lot of times people just throw something out there, whether, you know, I picked up um, <coughs> my engine stand and my engine hoist on Craigslist. I don't know what else, something like, I, I picked up a couple of almost brand new Firestone Winter Force tires on Craigslist. Way cheaper than I could ever get them in a store. They're almost brand new. Um, and I mounted them myself. Um, but I will not support any online vendor that collects sales tax and that, that and definitely not Amazon because that's a multi-billionaire freaking piece of crap that's all hooked in with this garbage um, so but just beware that it, when it's, you know everybody's saying oh the big collapse the big collapse the big collapse look what happened the last time during the Great Depression <coughs> 1932 that's when gasoline taxes started they still outlaw, and you know, even after Prohibition ended, the same laws are on the books about making your own gasoline and your own moonshine that you got to have all these licenses through the federal government. They all started way back in Prohibition. <coughs> that's bullshit. It's like, they're, they're wreck. That's why I don't care, man. These guys are, they're communist criminals. Every single one of these jackasses in our government. The one that, what keeps them in power is the media through Hollywood and also these religious morons probably buy, I don't even know if they buy into it or if they're just a bunch of 501c3 liars they're all they all advocate for that these guys are on the, are the good guys the government is the bad guys you know somebody can argue and say oh some of the moonshine was bad but you know what um, most of the freaking doctor treatments you're getting out there are bad 
moonshine, even then, when people were making their own moonshine, you know, if there was something bad, it immediately that vendor would be marked as your bad guy. And they usually people could figure out if it's bad. There's a way to light it up. If it's red, you're dead, you know, because it's got lead in it or something like that, or mercury, or forgot what it was. There's a lot of stuff you could do to check it anyway. But once you got a, you got a reputable people doing stuff, you're fine. Just like placing bets on the races with the mafia. They don't, they don't, you know, if you win, you win. They're not going to, they're not going to renege on their promise that you, you know, you placed a bet and you need, you're not going to get your money. Just because it's the mafia, they're not going to do it. They're not going to pay you. The ones that you got to watch is the government. <coughs> For every $10 they freaking take, $1 goes back into the economy. If you put $1 into the economy, that money would spin around and go all over the place, and it would actually generate ten dollars worth of goods, not for one dollar. You know, when they when they try to stimulate the economy, quote unquote, today, they just bail out the biggest worthless pieces of crap on this, in this nation, and they do nothing. And this applies even to like states, it applies to counties, it applies to townships. I mean, even like um, today, they got people like. They drive and they have no registration on them or expired registration. I ought to throw them in jail and charge them $50 a day for being in jail. Well, they just pulled out $500 a day out of the economy. Because that $50 from that person who didn't have the money to pay that registration, who was in jail or whatever the hell it was, um, he's not going to be able to spend that in, in a productive class of people that actually make the wealth. And the government acts like they're freaking trying to fight crime. They are the criminals. All of them. All of them. That's why I get ze I got zero sympathy for them, man. All the way. I'm like, I think um, it, it's been proven now, beyond a shadow of a doubt, that the anti-federalists that were the founding fathers, there's a big argument between the anti-federalists and the federalists, the anti-federalists were absolutely correct. The anti-federalists were the ones that gave us the Bill of Rights. The Federalists are saying, what do we need a Bill of Rights for? The Constitution tells you what the law is. There's nothing in the law that they're supposed to go beyond that. Well, they went way beyond it. They just do anything they damn well please. They do things by executive order. They don't give a damn. They, do, they make exceptions to anybody that's hooked in their own circle. I don't, you know, I'll tell you the truth. I mean, you know, I look at Donald Trump. I know he's president, whatever. Maybe he's, he's probably going to be the best president we got, but I think it's way too far gone, you know, anyway. Um, but, I mean, the best one we ever had in a while. But uh, the thing is, I wouldn't want that job. Shit, if I was president, I first thing, I'd, I'd, I'd line them all up that were in that damn freaking Obama bootlickers. I'd line them all up. You freaking shoot them on the White House wall. I don't give a shit. I mean, that's the way I clear them out. I wouldn't drain the swamp. They'd be dead. I mean, I'd play like Chiang Kai-shek did with the communists. And by the way, you know how, you know how Chiang Kai-shek lost? You know how he lost? You know how Mayor Tung won and got communism in the first place? Through the New York Times. Oh, they, they, they were playing he was an agricultural agrarian reformer. Bullshit. Bullshit. That's why I don't give a damn. You know, if Putin blows something up, I mean, he got to nail these freaking bastards in New York. One one right on the CFR and the rest, you know, one on the New York Times and whatever. I mean, I got no sympathy for him at all. That's when I looked at the trade towers coming down. I was like, eh, that's nice. Tell you the truth, I didn't even give a shit. Because I figured anybody who was working up in that place was a sellout in the first place. The guys I felt sorry for were the ones that are maintenance people, you know, people cleaning the place up, the window washers, the firemen, and the cops. Believe it or not, I mean, I actually felt sorry for the firemen and the cops. The big wigs up there, I didn't really give a shit, even when it was happening. Actually, matter of fact, my boss said, I'll tell you this, my boss said, because uh, I was an accountant, too bad that wasn't the IRS. <laughs> yeah, funny, huh? Anyway, so that's how I feel about it. And the problem is, we got a bunch of bleeding heart, quote unquote, fake ass conservatives, whatever the hell they are, that call themselves Christians. They're not fighters in the least. I don't know what the hell this even has to do with Jesus or God or anything. It's about 
you know, it's our money. It's, uh, it's the fruits of our labor. We keep it. Government, you can go to hell. You can go to hell. And I guess the only way you can keep the fruits of your labor is you got to physically have it in your hands. Um, anything we got electronically is in that, in that whatever the hell electronic form temporarily. And, you know, it's designed to just be spent. That's really how I look at it. It's not really designed to be saved electronically. It's designed to be there temporarily, maybe for several years. But overall, it's never going to come down to uh, being something that's going to be worth something in the long run. And because I said, when these people, when it, it, you know, I'm expecting things to come down eventually at one point in time. We're kind of like at a, a pinnacle where we're going down the wrong. We've already been going down a slippery slope and have been fudging the numbers. The government's been fudging the numbers a long period of time about what's going on in the economy. But what we got going in today is that when it comes down, expect a repeat of what happened in the 1930s. Everybody takes sales tax um, as, you know, almost all states have sales tax, right? Just, I think it's four or five that don't. Um, but everybody, you know, looks at sales tax and they say, well, you know, it's always been with us. No, it hasn't. It came about during the Great Depression. And then later on in the 40s, actually New Jersey didn't get their sales tax in the 60s. I remember that when it came out. You know, oh, it's not going to be on food and it's going to help us and it's, it's not going to be for the poor people. and It's not going to be on food and clothing. And, uh, it's a freaking place of ripoff, man. Um, we don't need it. We don't need any of this shit. And, you know, the biggest proof is that the government taxes just to preserve itself. Because, you know, they used to say the cigarette tax and the alcohol tax, well, it's sin tax. Oh, it's a tax on sin. They don't, people don't even realize how much tax they're paying on booze. It's ridiculous. Uh, I don't drink, but, you know, it's like you should be able to drink and not pay tax on it. Um, but why did they, why did, 1932, during the time of Prohibition, again, I'll tell you this again, they taxed gasoline. They can go to hell, man. They, they caught, the government caused the depression besides the big banks. The government's going to self do everything they can to preserve their crap. And I tell you, 99% of the media, including not just the big media, but you go out to local media, they're a bunch of lapdogs for whatever government's around there. None of them are f fighters. Absolutely none of them. They're all shit. Every single one of them. Um... So, you know, like I said, I don't have any affiliation with anybody. And, uh, you know, I'm a totally independent. But uh, just beware that you might want to unload silver or any precious metals prior to the, you know, what may be, even if you knew the exact height, because you might have a damn hard time selling it. Number two is, even though theoretically the price is way the hell up there, number two is, you, there might be a major tax on it in addition to whatever taxes we got today. And number three, your next move might, which might be a good, you know, something you need, might be sky high too. Um, then there's always the problem of if it's that damn high, are the banks are going to be, are the banks going to be solvent? You know, if you have, a, if you make, you know, if everything falls apart, would, you know, we're still going to be using dollars. We're still going to have the uh, financial system in the United States. But what's going to happen if you got to trade your silver for fiat dollars? Well, so you might be saying, well, I'm going to barter. Well, you know what? That's what you ought to be doing right now. You ought to be bartering right now. Um, the best online sales I could think of is, you know, people that offer free shipping, a discount, and... Um, you know, you don't pay sales tax. You're already saving yourself some money. And you know what else you're doing? You're starving the beast. And I know some people say, well, the government provides social services and roads. Well, you know what? I'm going to tell you right now, where I live, I hated the fact that when I first got here, there was a dirt road. There was a dirt road, and it was like four miles of freaking open country behind the farm. Now it's full of freaking all kinds of shit, right? Well, when I voted against that damn dirt road. And, I mean, the new road. I didn't want, I wanted the dirt. I, I don't give a shit the car gets mud on it. I mean, I got a four-wheel drive and I got posi traction on my El Camino. I don't give a damn. 
You know, some of you say, we need the roads fixed. I don't care about the roads. I don't give a shit. I don't care. We need to regulate that somebody's, you know, not fishing in the wrong spot. We don't. I don't give a damn. Maybe they're starving to death. So what are you going to do? Freaking uh, fine them for uh, fishing in the wrong spot, and then you have to go freaking uh, give them uh, food stamps or some shit or food assistance? Why? And then for what? It all goes through, like I said, for every $10 you put into the government, $1 goes back into the community. Because... What these government jackasses do, they got all the pay, bennies, pensions, and they're all living high on the hog, retired, loads of them. And anybody they know gets away with it. You notice for a fact. Cops, judges, DAs, they all, all their friends and family, they get away with all kinds of crap. It's for the other people. They, they, give, they pay the price. So that's why I don't have any sympathy for them and don't listen to any of the crap they have on the major media because um you know i just want to tell it to you straight there's a lot of things like people don't realize just how bad everything has gotten in this country and the reason america got great was because we didn't have all this bullshit it wasn't because we elected some guy in the office who'll make america america great i'm not saying something against trump but you know <laughs> he's not going to be able to say oh all you states throw out fire 99 percent of your government uh, stop all your state income taxes. Stop all your, um, you know, your sales taxes, and, and uh, stop all your excise taxes on uh, <coughs> sale of cigarettes and booze. Let's make moonshine e- legal again. Let's let people freaking make their own gasoline or fuel for their cars. Let's uh, you know, let's people, you know, which could be home heating oil for crying out loud. They ain't gonna be, ain't gonna do, be able to do that. He's not God, you know. And if he was, he could. He, then the other side of it is he could be uh you know joseph stalin and kill millions of people if he was god we, we don't need we, that's why we don't depend on somebody to fix our problems i i personally tell you the truth i you know as much as i hate hillary i do hate hillary clinton she's an evil bitch but you know if we were able to get every moon shining and illegal in this country with no taxation and like we can make fuel and booze all you want and sell it on the open market without taxation or rules. Well, guess what? I could give a damn if Hillary Clinton was president then because she wouldn't have any control. You know? She wouldn't have any control. She could be president of a freaking doghouse for all I give a damn. That's how strong that's how that's how strong the people need to be and that's how weak the government needs to be. Then it's gonna be fixed. Everybody's got the wrong idea about make America great through a freaking electing this guy. No way. No way in hell. And honestly, silver is a good thing in a lot of ways for medicinal benefits and stuff. But you got to look at what you're really trying to accomplish. You're trying to starve the beast. Not only the financial and banking system, but also the government. So there's a lot of ways around it. And I only touched the surface on here. And I can't tell you all the ways around it. There's a lot of ways around it. And I don't want to say too much because that puts too much focus on me. But, um, you know, the real entrepreneurs are getting hammered in this country. And um, they were getting hammered back in the Depression. Wonderful, huh? They start, everybody start jumping on board with sales tax, and then the federal government comes out with a gasoline tax, and they got prohibition. And then they lead us into World War II, right? And, you know, that's a whole other story because I guarantee you, you don't know the story in the links between the Nazi military industrial complex and the bigwigs in the United States. There's a lot of strong links between the two. That's why our American Air Force, our U.S. Army Air Force at the time, did not bomb certain factories in, in Nazi Germany because they were linked, owned, by American interests. Even though those factories are going against our guys that were fighting the Nazis. And why why does this happen? Because you let government have control. Screw them. Period. Over and out. 